but greater is he that is in me. Our, our dependence has got to be on God. Amen. One thing for certain, we don't want to get out of here at 12 today, do we? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> no other place I'd rather be, amen, than in God's house. Amen. Uh, already done notice Wednesday's night's message was like a water off duck's backs to about half the crowd. Amen. And Amen. I'm convinced, amen, the only thing that's going to get some of us a smile, amen, is salvation. Amen. Amen. The liver is going to have to move in, amen, and do the living because we sure can't do it, amen. That's right, amen. Praise the Lord, amen. I'm convinced tonight, amen, some of us are going to have to get a dose of old-fashioned, old-time, Holy Ghost salvation, amen. In the name of Jesus, amen, get born from above, amen. And then it won't be dead, dry religion, amen. Amen. Hey, that dead, dry religion, amen, it might be good for you, but it ain't working for me, amen. Amen. When I got saved, amen, I got saved, amen. It was a desire in my heart to love Jesus, to live for him, amen, uh, to see him move, to see him work, amen. Hey, what some of us got, amen, we better off at the graveyard, amen. I'm telling you, friend. Uh, we just silent, quiet, amen, no smile. Hey, we talked about it Wednesday night, amen. We ought to talk about it again today, amen. Because, uh, hey, hearing it ain't going to help us, amen. It's the doing it that's going to help us tonight, amen. The hearing ain't going to help us a whole lot. Amen. Titus chapter number 2. Happy Mother's Day, amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, amen. <laughs> I'll tell you, it is just good. Hey, when I come down to the house of God, I woke up this morning with joy in my soul. Amen. I did. Amen. Uh, Brother Perry, I woke up this morning fighting the flesh just like you did. Amen. His old flesh is rotten and stinking. We talked about that last week. Uh, but once I realized, man, this is the Lord's day. Amen. Hey, was joy in my soul. Thank God. Uh, today's yet another day we get to go to the house of God. Amen. No other place I'd rather be. It's Mother's Day. I still want to honor God. Amen. Hey, I want to honor my mother now. Don't misunderstand. Amen. Special woman. Amen. But honor God. Amen. Amen. If we was half as concerned about honoring him this morning. Amen. Titus chapter number two. Amen. I, I've been praying this week trying to figure out. Amen. I don't really get into these uh, uh, special meetings. Amen. With Mother's Days, Father's Days, Christmases, Thanksgivings. Uh, uh, so really not a Mother's Day message, amen, although it might have the majority uh, to do with a mama, amen. We're going to talk about it this morning in chapter number two of the book of Titus. Y'all believe Titus is in the Word of God, don't you, amen? I still believe Titus is in the Word of God, amen? Uh, the Bible said here in verse number one, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, uh, sound in faith and charity and patient, the aged women... Uh, likewise, amen, that they may, he said that they be in behavior as become at holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, uh, uh, teachers of good things, amen. He said that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands. Can you believe that, amen? Well, they have to be taught, amen, uh, to love their husbands, amen. Uh, what about this, amen? Love their children. Can you believe uh, uh, that a mama has to be taught, amen? Uh, to love her children. You say it ain't so. God said it was. Amen. Uh, they have to be taught. Amen. A lot of times, amen, uh, that's where we get all this garbage going on in our day. Uh, mamas, amen, today a lot of them don't have natural affection. Amen. Uh, but God tells us here, amen, that they, uh, that they may teach the young women, amen, to be sober. Now listen, if the aged women's going to do the teaching, amen, and they do have that responsibility, then the young women's going to have to do the listening. Amen. And to do the learning. We can't take every time uh, uh, that an aged woman tells us something and shrug it off like she don't know what she's talking about because uh, most of them, amen, don't walk that mile. Uh, they don't learn from their mistakes, amen, and they're trying to help you uh, how to keep you from walking down the same road they did, amen. Uh, but we do us well to understand that. Look what he said here. Uh, to be discreet, chaste, look, keepers at home, amen. Uh, you ought to shout right there this morning, mama, amen. If you stay at home, amen, and you're a keeper at home, you ought to shout the glory right there, amen. 
life. That's the will of God for your life. Amen. He said this. Amen. Keepers at home good. Uh, obedient to their own husbands. Amen. That we done lost Oprah. Amen. Uh, dear Abby's done throw that out the window, friend. I want to tell you it ain't helping any of them. Amen. He said obedient uh, to your own husbands. Can you believe that? Amen. Uh, why would he say that? Look what he said. Uh, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Amen. Uh, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Father in heaven, we love you this morning. Uh, we thank you, God, for your blessings, your goodness, Lord. Uh, I pray that you'd bind every unclean spirit this morning, God. I pray that you'd move in our midst. Uh, uh, do that work that only you can, Lord. We love you this morning. Uh, God, we thank you for first loving us. I pray, God, you'd speak to us and through us and help us to be a blessing and an encouragement to the people of God. And we'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'll preach on this thought this morning on the ministry of motherhood. Amen. The ministry of motherhood. Uh, uh, when we look in the word of God. Amen. Uh, can I tell you, Brother Holt, there's more to being a mama uh, than having babies. Amen. Uh, you can have babies. Amen. But I want to tell you, friend, I know a bunch of them. Amen. That's got seven, eight, nine youngins. Amen. Uh, that ain't being a very good mama. Amen. Uh, having babies. Amen. Don't make you a mama necessarily. Amen. Or it don't cause you to fulfill uh, that God-given ministry in your life. Uh, being a mama, can I tell you, uh, being a mama is one of the greatest uh, and most honorable positions that God gave anybody on this planet. Amen. I'm telling you, I had a mama. Amen. I got a mama, and I tell you what, I got a wife uh, uh, that is a mama to her children. Amen. Uh, but can I tell you, friend, I believe that one of the most urgent needs of our day is a restoration of motherhood. Amen. I believe mama's done lost her place. Amen. I done left her position, friend, and I believe that we are seeing the direct results of it in our everyday life. Amen. Our children, amen, are in a mess today because mama has left home. Amen. Her mama has forgot her position. Amen. And place. I thought about this. Amen. This morning, motherhood has went a long ways in the wrong direction. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, this world don't know what a mama is anymore. Amen. As I thought about this, amen, I thought about it this way. Uh, now, I don't want you to cut me off too early this morning. Uh, some of you already have, and that's all right with me. Amen. Uh, you know what I found out? Uh, God's still on the throne. Amen. His word's still right, uh, and it don't make no difference if we rightly receive it or not. He's, his way's still right. Amen. Uh, we'll find here in the word of God. Amen. Uh, in our day, you look around, I see everybody under the sun raising children except mama. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, uh, uh, the daycares are raising our babies. Amen. I'm telling you, the schoolhouses are raising our baby. Uh, God help our soul this morning. I want to tell you, friend, it is a great thing, amen, and an honorable thing, amen, to teach your children, amen. Uh, what a blessing it is. Uh, you know what? I rise every day. I've heard my wife tell me a hundred times, amen. Uh, nearly every time we pass the schoolhouse, uh, she said, I thank God for the day, amen, uh, that God helped us to understand it is our responsibility to teach our own children uh, to love them amen and to be a keeper at home amen is that right this morning uh, some of you women that's filled with the Holy Ghost and, and doing this you ought to shout about it amen I'm telling you friend it'll help you to be a teacher of the younger women amen uh, because if you don't amen uh, those precious little girls we have sitting around in here uh, they're going to get up a little age they're going to have a few babies amen they're going to stick them in daycare somewhere they're going to send them off to public school uh, they're going to try to keep up with the Joneses amen and forget all about their God given responsibility as a mama amen oh we think about this this morning for him uh, mothers it do us well amen uh, to resume our role our God given responsibility in the motherhood amen I'm talking about being a mama amen what a blessing it is I'll say I believe we've got some good mamas in here amen is that right this morning I believe we got some good mamas amen I can tell you this from experience. I know my children has a good mama. Amen. I believe that. Amen. It don't bother me one bit uh, to leave home. I leave home uh, and my heart does safely trust her uh, to keep home. Amen. Uh, to guide the house. Uh, to love those children. Uh, to guide those children. Amen. In the ways of God. I thought about it. Amen. Uh, Satan. Amen. Has pulled out all the artillery in our day. Amen. I'm telling you there is an attack on the home. I'm telling you there 
there is an all out attack on the home today. Uh, you think about it for a moment, amen. Uh, you think about it this way. I wonder who's teaching our children. By way of introduction, I want to tell you, uh, you think about it this way, amen. All the immorality, uh, the adultery, the fornication, Listen to these last, the abortion, come on now. How do you know what it used to be? How that the womb was the safest place in the world for a child, amen? It's not that way anymore, is it, amen? But what about this feminism, amen? And this transgenderism, amen, that's come on the scene in our day. You know what it is? It's out of the belly of hell, amen? And you know what it's out to do? It's to destroy our homes, amen? I'm telling you, friend, you mama sat at home with those children a lot of times. And the first time you see one of your boys walking around with a little feminism in him, you need to sit down and have a good little talk with him, amen, and let them understand, amen, how they're there to grow up to be a young man, amen, amen. amen. Right. Oh, I will. Uh, the first time you see them walking around confused about what they are, amen, you need to explain. God birthed them into this world, and if they was born a boy, they'll be a boy, amen. Amen. And you ought to train them to be one. And you ought not train your little girls to be little boys. Amen. amen. Somebody ought to say amen right there. Amen. I'm telling you, we live in a day where you don't know the difference. These young boys walking around, uh, they'll grow that hair way out there. I grew up around some of them. Amen. They'll grow that hair way out there. And that mama talk about how pretty it is. Every time she cones it, come on now. Every time she cones it, uh, we're going to grow it out and we're going to give it to lots for love, amen. And we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to be a blessing. Well, you'll start off uh, by being a blessing by cutting that stuff off, amen. amen. Hunting God, amen. Uh, with it, amen. amen. You know what? For long, amen. It's more than the hair. Right. Oh, yeah. It ain't long after that they get that little feminine walk, amen. Amen. And you can't tell whether they're a girl or a boy from the backside. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, uh, before you know it, amen, you looking around and there's some boys lusting at her, your boy, uh, thinking that it's a little girl from behind. Amen. I'm telling you that's the right tonight. Uh, but I want to tell you, friend, uh, there ain't no reason for our children to be confused what they are. Amen. There's no reason at all for it that we would resume our roles, uh, our God given responsibilities, our children to know. Amen. amen. Oh, but we live in a day where it ain't that way. Right. Oh, we've lived the principles, amen. You know what I believe society? I went on a downhill crash. I when woman left her place, her God-given responsibility, the role that God has planned for her. When this old woman right movement started, amen. Oh. Oh, it all started, amen, one day, didn't it, amen? And it's went on a downward trend ever since, amen? Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more, but you think about it. This stuff is out to destroy homes, amen. amen. You know what the greatest, ble the mandate, look now, I want you to look with me, amen. He said the AIDS women, amen. What is their mandate, amen? Now you listen, the only woman, amen, listen now. You're going to have to teach them to love their children. Yeah. You know who teaches children to love their children? Mamas do. Amen. Look here. He said this. He said this. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. You know what the mandate of a woman is or a mama? You can say a woman of womanhood, amen, is to teach the younger women, amen. Uh, can I tell you, listen here, uh, you age women in this congregation, it's your God-given responsibility, amen, to teach these young women how to be, listen now, how to be wives, amen, listen now, how to be wives, uh, how to be mothers, uh, and how to be keepers of home, amen. Uh, listen now, friend. Who is it we've left our children over to be taught by today? It's Oprah Winfrey, amen, and all that garbage out of hell. Uh, you know what it is? It's dear Abbott. Come on now. Uh, you see all this thing all the time in the paper uh, where some young lady's writing dear Abby, amen, when she ought to be asking dear mom, amen. Oh, yes, amen. Uh, she ought to be asking dear mom, do you know what? Uh, but it's what I do, amen. Uh, my husband, I don't love him like I used to, amen. When you said I do, you did. Amen. You better learn how to love. Amen. You better learn how to love. You can learn to love. Amen. Come on now. You say, well, I don't love him like I used to. You know, Abby says, you know what she says? She says, well, you've got a right to be happy. If you don't like that old goat, just get rid of him. I go find you another man. Amen. You know what I hear them all the time? I'm like, well, I'm just tired of being uh, together. I want to be on my own. I need my own freedom. Amen. It's amazing to me. Two days later, they were another man. Amen. Oh, come on now. I'm telling you that to be the truth tonight. It ain't got nothing to do with wanting to be on their own anymore. Amen. 
Them old hormones done got to run it. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Oh, every time, you know what? If dear Abby's going to tell them that, then we need some dear old age saint of God to stand up and say, hey, you know what? It's not your love that's going to keep your commitment. Amen. It's your commitment, amen, that's going to sustain your love, thank God. I just be committed, amen. I come hell or high water. I, no matter what this old world brings up, we're going to stay together and we're going to do it God's way, amen. Oh, friend, it'll be a glad day in your life when you realize, amen, it's the commitment, the vow you made to God, the vow you made to that spouse of yours, and decide, amen, I'm committed. Amen. You know what that commitment will do? It'll sustain that love a long ways. Amen. It ain't always, you know what? Uh, some of you older, older age women, now listen, I, you can define that any way you want to. That ain't necessarily talking about somebody 70 or above. Right. Amen. Right. But somebody, hey, listen, how many of you in here have been married 40 years? Anybody here have been married 40 years? What about 30 years? Amen. We got some. Amen. 30 years, 20 years. Amen. Do you know what? Ain't going to be some of these young couples, amen, get married for the glory of God. Amen. And they're going to think, man, it's all, we got it made now. And then they're going to hit some problems. Uh, they're going to hit some struggles. Uh, and then they're going to need some aged women uh, and some aged men to say, hey, uh, you know what? Uh, the problems came our way too. Uh, uh, we had problems. Uh, uh, we had difficulties. It ain't always been easy. Uh, but look at us uh, now, bless God, uh, 40 years later, uh, we still together, and it had nothing to do with our love. It was the commitment that we made to God. Amen. That commitment we made. You know what? Just uh, uh, Hey, listen. It ought not ever come out of a saved person's mouth. Amen. Uh, just go on, amen, and find you another one. That's right. amen. Oh, yes. What that is is a devil out of hell sitting on the church pew pretending to be saved, amen. Right. If they're ever given advice how to tell a woman, amen, that young girl just let, go on and leave him. Amen. Go on, leave. There's some devils in the church that'll do that. Oh, yeah. Go on and leave him, amen. You deserve to be happy. Well, if you'd get saved, amen, and get full of the Holy Ghost and submit yourself to the Word of God, you can be happy, amen. I'm telling you, friend, the problem's not with him and the problem's not with her. The problem's with you, amen, and you need to get your heart right with God, amen. I'm telling you, the mandate is to teach, amen, of these young women, amen, to be mothers and to be keepers at home. That's a forgotten doctrine in our day. People don't believe that anymore. Amen. Amen. First thing I'm going to want to know about my daughter, amen, what you going to do with her? Listen, if you have no plans of her staying at home, then God, it is not the will of God. Listen, you hear what I said? Not the will of God. Amen. You know what? I believe that tonight. Amen. I believe that as sure as I believe the King James Bible tonight. It is not the will of God for my daughter to go out into this world or my wife to go out into this world and take a secular job. Amen. I'm telling you that's the husband's responsibility. He's to go out and provide. He's to be the breadwinner and she's to be the one that keeps home and God's the house for the glory of God. I'm telling you and if both of them take their position right, I'm telling you God. Amen will honor that, amen. Listen now, amen, that, that mandate. What should be the motivation behind it? Preacher, you know what? We're struggling. We can't make our bills, amen. Well, what's the motivation, Brother Ty? He said it in verse number five, that the word of God be not blasphemed. That ought to motivate you enough, amen. Amen, listen. We just, you know what we're going to do? Instead of sending you out there, amen, and putting a hard hat on you, you know what we're going to do? We're going to join hands. We're going to grab a hold of the altar somewhere. We're going to pray to the God of heaven. He's going to bless our lives. Amen. He's going to show us a way. He's going to keep it together like he told us he would. We're going to trust God by faith. I don't know where it's going to come from, but I know there's one in heaven that told me if I'd honor him, he'd honor me. Amen. So we're going to do it your way, God. It motivates me. I'm telling you every time, listen to me, church, every time one of our families here at this church fall apart, amen, and go to divorce court, do you know what it does? It blasphemes the word of God. It undermines the message. It hurts our influence on this community, amen. Listen, they, listen, they hear what you say, but you know what? It's more important what you do. Come on now. They, whoa, I believe the King James Bible. Do you believe all of it? Amen. Now listen, 
We find the mandate. I want to give you three things and we'll be done. Amen. Three things about this ministry of motherhood. Amen. It's a blessed ministry. Listen now, I want to tell you, friend, they come along and say, you know what, in our day, they say if that pregnancy, amen, was by mistake, just do away with the evidence. Come on, come on now. But you know what? We need some of the age women to set them down and say, hey, you know what? I don't care how it happened. It happened. And that is life. Right. Living on the inside of your body. Right. Amen. And now you have a God-given responsibility. Amen. Amen. The choice has already been made. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, a God, amen, gave that life. Amen. And it's not up to us to take it away. Amen. We need some age woman to sit down and say, hey, hey, you can't go that way. Amen. You're going to have to do what God said. Amen. And we'll find. Amen. We find them many times. Amen. You think about this. Amen. The word of God be not blasphemed. I'll give you three things. What is the ministry? of a mother. First of all, I want to tell you about her place. Amen. Verse number five, she is to be a keeper at home. Listen now, you can argue all you want to about that. That's what the Word of God said. Amen. We ain't got time, no debate on that. It ain't no need to debate. It's not up for debate. Amen. The Word of God says if you're going to honor him, amen, then you're going to have to be a keeper at home. Amen. Allow your husband to go out and be the breadwinner. Allow him to go out and work. Allow him to go out and, uh, hey, you know what? Uh, before my wife would go to work, I'd spend 70 hours a week in a cotton mill somewhere. I'm telling you, I'd work my fingers to the bone. I'd work two jobs, three jobs, uh, whatever it took. Amen. And I have done that before, by the way. Amen. Amen. I'm not telling rallying all something. I've done that. Amen. But there was no way I was going to send my wife out there into the workforce. Amen. My home's more important than that. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, they could take everything we own before I allow my wife to go to work. Mark it down. Amen. I, they would take everything I own, amen, and they could have the shoes on my feet before I allow my wife to go out there and work. That's how much I believe it to be true, amen. Listen now, her place, amen, is to be a keeper at home. Now, you agree with that, don't you, amen? Don't matter if you do or not, amen. It's still the truth, amen. We think about this, amen. Her place uh, is to be a keeper at home. Uh, can I go on and say this, amen? Uh, you got to recognize that duty, amen. Uh, when it says keeper at home, uh, it don't mean everybody else's home, amen. It means your own home, amen. It means you to do it at your place, amen. It, you to be at your house, amen. You can't keep your home at everybody else's home all the time, amen. Amen. Hey, you keep your home, amen. Oh, you know what I'm telling you to be true tonight? I'm telling you, friend, listen now. We'll get into it in a minute, amen. You think about it. You send that old, that man goes out to provide, amen. When he comes home, he ought to have a meal cooked. You agree with that, don't you, amen? Every, every day ought not be microwave oven style, amen. Uh, come on. He didn't say you had to cook good, but you do have to cook, amen. Listen, really. I mean, if you don't know how, then experiment the 12 hours he's at work, amen. I start at 8 a.m. and finish up at 6 and you get it figured out, amen. And when you get it figured out, thank God you'll know. He'll come home and sit down and it'll go from that look on his face. To, this is really getting better. Praise God. This is getting better. Amen. Amen. Hey, don't hey now listen now. I ate some of the best baked beans I ever ate in my life. Ben Griffiths cooked them last week. I say, bless God, if a 15, 16 year old boy I can cook food like that, and then surely the goodness you women can. Amen. Amen. Listen now. Oh man. It's over now, ain't it, brother? I'm telling you, friend, that's the truth tonight, amen. Yeah, but we need some help from God, amen. I realize we've got a place. Can I tell you, that don't just demeanor you, amen. That is a high calling of God yeah, for your life. That is the greatest ministry you can have is that ministry in your own home, amen. Yeah. I know it. You know what, to a woman, a saved woman that's full of the Holy Ghost, uh, that place, amen, that God gave her is her palace. They ain't nothing else like it. They ain't no place on this earth I'd rather be. Hey, is that right? Amen. Some of you ladies all say amen. amen. You know what? Ain't no other place she'd rather be amen. than in that home, amen, that God has provided her with. Amen. She thinks, you know what? The, listen, ladies, this is your ministry. Yes. Oh, this home, amen, this place that God gave me to keep. Amen. That word keepers at home literally means stayers at home. Amen. 
stay there. Amen. When you stay there, look. Listen, I'm all for visiting mama, but you can't spend every day at mama's. Y'all say amen to that, amen. You can't spend every day at mama's, amen. Hey, you got to spend time at home, amen. Hey, you got a responsibility to your children and your husband in that home, amen. That place that God gave you, it's an honorable place. It's a place, amen, if you'll take it and, you, and be serious about it. I've got to bless your home. Praise God, I'm telling you, we have just good meeting around the house as you do the church when your house is right, amen. Oh, man, friend, I'll tell you, you ain't seen me, amen, until you sit down on your recliner at home and you can sense the Holy Ghost moving, amen. 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 Wife in there cooking with the apron on, smiling for the glory of God, amen. I'm telling you, singing those old hymns, uh, every time the oven opens, uh, you can smell the fragrance, amen. That's uh, something real good, and you know, thank God, it's because somebody loves Jesus. Oh, come on now. Uh, somebody loves Jesus enough. To take care of their God-given responsibility. Oh, we listen. Our children, they out there shooting people up today. Well, you know why? Because mama's left home. Listen, mama don't even know where children, listen. Remember now, listen, we ain't talking about grown men out there anymore. We talking about 8, 9, 10, 12. 15 year olds, amen, oh, that should be at home with mama out there shooting up the town, amen, oh, mixed up on crack cocaine oh, and smith and phenamine and all that garbage oh, because mama has left her place, amen. Can I say this? I give you three things about that place. You know what? What happened to that place? I won't tell you what happened to it. Some of them, uh, the almighty buck, amen. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, driving one car, amen, and a piece of another ain't good enough no more. Right. Amen. Hey, we got to have two cars. Amen. We've got to have, listen now, hey, we've got to have a big house like everybody else has got. Hey, man, we've got to have the finest clothes. Uh, uh, so the only way we're going to do that is, Mama, you're going to have to go pursue your career. Uh, you're going to have to leave your home uh, and go do it that way. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, that's the truth tonight. Hey, so we got to have that dollar. Amen. You know what? I know I've seen them. Amen. I've seen them with the big homes. I've seen them with the two or three nice fancy cars. I've seen them with the boats. I've seen them with everything they ever wanted. But they did it at the expense of their children. They did it at the expense of their home. And my friend, it didn't end well. I'm telling you, friend, don't sell out your place. Amen. Don't sell out your home. Amen. It ain't worth it. Amen. The pay ain't worth it. Amen. You better stay out of it. It don't matter how good it is. Right. I Amen. I just keep on wearing things from the thrift store, thank God. Amen. amen. But I got a smile on my wife's face. My children, amen, are taught right. Amen. 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 Come on now, you know that's right. Amen, amen friend. It don't, I'm telling you, friend, we changed the truth of God into a lie in our day. Amen. amen. And the thing about it is, the Baptist preacher stand up and tell you what well, God understands. God don't understand. He ain't going to bless it either. God ain't going to put his blessing. Look, now let's go on to 1 Timothy chapter number 5. You get that uh-oh look on when you go to these verses. Amen. Chapter number 5. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter number 5 and verse number 14. I will therefore that younger women marry. You hear that? Amen. It's not the will of God for them to stay at home all their life. Amen. He said, will the younger men, younger women marry? Listen to this. Give, he said, God, he said, bear, the, bear children. Can you imagine that? Bear children. Now you step out of the car, amen, and walk in the grocery store with more than two, amen. You looked at it like a, you stepped off another planet. Oh, yeah. We was walking around yesterday, amen, uh, out there at that place and uh, gay looking around at some of those tables. And you know what? Some of them asked me and my wife, is all these children y'all's is? All these children. You know what, amen? Uh, bless the Lord, amen. I'm telling you, uh, they're the heritage of the Lord, amen. Uh, they God's gift to us, and we'll live for him, amen. And you know what? Every one of them smiling. Amen. Every one of them smiling. And they're in the presence of mom and daddy, amen. And you know what? They ain't running around out there like a bunch of heathen uh, filling out what they can steal off the table, amen. Uh, they out there looking at things uh, and not grabbing everything and slamming it down on tables and stuff. They know how to act. You know why? Because they got a mama, amen, that knows her place. Amen. 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 Come on now. Y'all, listen. We lose half the crowd tonight today, but I'm telling you, friend, the place, amen, you, you won't find no other place like it. Listen, 
They went at her the buck, amen. But can I tell you something else they went at her was the beauty. Yeah. Come on now. Oh, yeah. They went at her the beauty. Kids running around in a bunch of rags, amen. And they got to have the best of everything. Come on now. They got to have their nails done three times a month. Right. Listen now, I'm telling you, friend, from what I've seen, I've seen some of these devils, amen. Uh, they'll let their children do without. I'm telling you, friend, uh, the husband working three jobs already, uh, but they're going to get them nails done, boy. Amen. amen. Listen. Right. Listen, I ain't opposed to that, amen. Right. Now, don't misunderstand. But if it comes to that point, go get you a file, amen, and go to work in the name of Jesus, amen, and say, look, I'm going to help my husband out here, and I'm going to save him that second job. Instead of spending $75 a month on my nails, we're going to give it toward the light bill, and we're going to love each other to death, amen. amen. I'm telling you, friend, is that right? Amen. Oh, that's right. Amen. amen. Now listen, friend, we can't expect wife to sacrifice and then we'll run around and put it on all our play toys either now. Right. Understand that I ain't being hard on the woman today. I'm telling you, it's a mutual thing, amen. It's a two, it's a, a we are now one, amen. And when one sacrifices, the other must sacrifice. Right. Amen. Oh, it's, got, it's our God-given responsibilities. Amen, they went out of the bucks. Some of them went out of the babies, amen. They got babies strode out all over the world, amen. I'm telling you what, they in every grandparent's house, amen. Until Jesus comes, half of them's in foster homes, amen. And they still having babies, amen. I'm telling you, friend, it don't make you a mama just because you got nine kids. Amen. It ain't everybody else's responsibility to raise your children. Amen, it's yours. Man, I've never seen the likes of my day, amen. Babies here, babies there. Man, I'm confused, amen, most of the time. What is going on with motherhood? Yeah, come on. The natural affection of a woman, amen, is to love her children. Right. Amen. amen. Oh, yes, amen. But can I tell you, some of them has went out of the brains. Amen. Listen now, I understand they've been in some situations, amen. Sister Lynn ain't got a whole lot of choice. Don't misunderstand me, Miss Lynn. She ain't got a whole lot of choice. Amen. Her husband's no longer at home. She's got to provide for those children some way. Amen. Understand, so before y'all start looking at me stupid, don't, don't no, think I'm, I'm talking about Sister Lynn. I'm just telling you, some of them has forsook, forsook the will of God for the brains. Amen. Right. They said, you know what? We're going to go out and further our education. And listen, I've seen this a few times. We're going to go out there and we're going we're to get to be arrested or in, and we're going to provide for our home. Yeah. Well, they get to be arrested or in. They fall in love with the first doctor that comes on the scene. They out the door and leave their husband, amen, uh, with those three or four children they have. And I want to tell you, friend, I've seen that before. Yeah. Amen. amen. Oh, yeah. He's a distant past. Well, he don't make as much as I do. And if you don't make as much as I do, you sure ain't going to tell me how to spend it. Right. Come, on. Come on now. Right. <laughs> Lord, help us, Jesus. I'm telling you, that's the day we're in. But I want to tell you, friend, there's more than a place, amen. There's a practice. Look what he said in verse 4 and 5 again. He said that they may teach the young women to be sober, love their children, love their, hu love their husband, love their children. To be discreet, chaste. That word chaste means pure. <laughs> Keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands. That the word of God be not blasphemed. The practice of it is, amen, what they do is more, Brother Holt, than just staying at home. That don't mean stay at home and be a slob. It don't mean stay at home, amen, and lay in the bed all day. Come on now. It does not mean, amen, husband gets up at 6 and goes to work, amen, and you lay in the bed to 12, amen. That is not being a keeper at home, amen. Listen now, friend. That is not a keeper at home, amen. Uh, when you've got a place, there's a practice, amen. Uh, you know what you got to do? You got to love your husbands, amen. Listen, there'll be some old mama say, well, I don't care what he says. Listen. First time I heard that, amen, I'd put mom-in-law in place. Come on now. Amen. You know that to be true. Oh, man. Y'all know that to be right. Amen. 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 We had that experience one time, didn't we, Miss Dinah? Amen. Me and Dinah had an argument. Amen. We, we wouldn't even, we wouldn't even saved, I don't believe. Amen. And you know what? I knew that she wouldn't. I didn't marry her. Amen. I married her. And boy, she come running out of the bedroom and said, you can't talk to my daughter that way. I said, I'll tell you what. I didn't marry you. You get back in the other and stay out of this. Amen. amen. And you know what? I never had her get in our business again. Amen. I'm telling you, friend. Her mama say, well, you ain't got to do what he says. Well, you know what you're teaching her to do? Go against the authority of the word of God. Amen. 
and you creating a rebel is what you doing. Right. Amen. 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 That's her authority, amen, is that husband. Right. Amen. Oh, husband. Is that right tonight, this morning, amen? Y'all know that's right. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, the practice, amen, to be sober, to be discreet, level-headed, to have good judgment. Right. Amen. In other words, now my husband was at home. Would we do this? I've seen some of those, amen. Uh, as soon as the husband leaves, it's playtime. Right. It is party time. We're going to do it till he gets ready to come. We know the time clock, amen, and before he gets back, we'll have all this in order. You know what? You ain't saved, amen, and you're wicked as a devil if that's your attitude. Amen. Listen, you know what? You got to teach them to love their husband. Our best teachers are doing that to somebody that's already been married. Amen. Yeah. You've been through some tough times. Amen. Me and my wife had some rough times. But I didn't make it, Brother Perry. Right. Amen. If Jesus hadn't passed by, we would not have. Right. Amen. But since he did, amen. we figured out the blueprint, amen, yeah. to a happy home. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, Brother Ty, you know where it's at. It's found in the pages of this book, amen. And it says, look, if you want it to be right, you want it to be happy, just follow the guidelines. Yeah, amen, it's that easy. Yeah. Husband, you take your place. Wife, you take yours. Right. And make sure the children keep theirs. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, you know what? I've seen a lot of wives side with children over husbands. Right. That's wicked as a devil. Amen. 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 Even if you don't agree with what he's saying, what you need to do, amen, is you need to just sit down and talk about it, amen, because I'm telling you, friend, I have seen them, boy, oh, yeah. furious mad, amen, because the husband said, you know what, that game there, you ain't going to play. Right. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with They ain't doing nothing but blowing somebody's head off, amen. What are you trying to keep them from? Right. Be mad. Come on. I'm like, well, you really don't see the kind of judgment that it's taking place here. Right. Amen. Look now, I'm going to tell you something. The practice. Love her husband, love their children. You mean you ha really have to teach women, mothers, to love their children? Man, apparently you do. You look around and tell me. Right. Amen. Oh, I'm telling you, friends, just look around and tell me. Right. You ever go to Walmart, amen, and even the ones that's got them don't want them? Man, they dragging them out by the arms, calling them every name. Listen, just because your ch children act up don't give you no reason to call them every name under the sun, amen. They are still children, amen. And God gave those children to you, amen, to raise, amen, to provide for, to protect, amen, and to teach them the word of God. That's right. Amen. Oh, man, I'm telling you, friend, the practice, love their children. You think about this. Teach them to be chaste. Yeah. Purity. Look, oh, listen now. I would just be as plain as I can without going overboard. You listen to me. You need to teach these young ladies, amen, and young men to keep the purity. Yeah. Amen. Don't be trying to get into bed with the first thing that comes along every time. Oh, hey, listen now. Listen now. I'm trying Wait. to help you now. Right. I'm telling you, friend. Right. Amen. You know what's going to happen, don't you? Won't be long. Baby comes along out of wedlock, amen. And that bum, amen, that you thought was somebody is gone, amen. He ain't nowhere to be found. He wouldn't give you a nickel, amen. And the government's taking care of your children half the time. I'm telling you, friend, that is not the will of God. Amen. Not the will of God. Oh, I wonder tonight. What about Proverbs 31? Amen, brother. We see the practice. Amen. She said in verse 10, he said here in verse number 10 of Proverbs 31, who can find a virtuous woman? You know what, brother? Who can find a virtuous woman? You know what that tells me? That she is a rare treasure. Rare. Who can find a virtuous woman? Look what he said. For her price is far above rubies. Amen. Amen. When you find one, you have found something worth having. Amen. 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 Glad I got one. Some of you men all say amen right there. If you got one, you all say praise God. Amen. I'm glad that I found a virtuous woman. I can leave home. I, my heart safely trusts her. I know that she's going to guide the house. I know she's going to keep home. I know she's going to teach my children. I know she's going to love them. Amen. Oh, man. That makes me go out the door every time I leave with a smile on my face. Amen. 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 She has a willingness. Look, look, look what he said in verse number 11 and 12. The heart of her husband does safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. Uh, she shall do him good and not evil all the days of her life. 
Oh, friend, look at her willingness. She keepeth wool and flax and working willingly with her hands. Man, she has a willingness. You know what, she, what that is? She's saying, you know what? I'm going to help every way I can around here to make it easier and less expensive. Amen. Less expensive. Amen. amen. Some of you don't need to learn how to thrifty shop. Amen. I'm telling you, friend. My wife learns it. Amen. And when I go to the store with her, she gets mad at me. Amen. Yeah. She's like, man, if you came with us every time to the grocery store, we'd stay broke. And I told her, don't take a fat man, amen, to pick up groceries, amen, uh, because when we eat, we like to eat, amen. I'm telling you the truth tonight, uh, but she does, amen. She's thrifty, trying to find ways to save, uh, trying to find ways to make it easier. You know that he's struggling, amen, to keep the bills paid, amen. Uh, so she has a will, and she said, you know what? I think I can make that dress. Yeah, amen. I mean, I've seen some that can make a lot of them that look a whole lot better than that stuff you go get out of J.C. Penis. Amen. Yeah. I ain't nothing wrong with you having a new dress. Don't misunderstand. Right, right. But listen, it's not time for a new dress when your lights are about to get cut off. Right. Amen. Come on now. Somebody agree with that. You know that's the truth. Amen. Right. It's time for you to say, look, there ain't nothing wrong with this. Right. <laughs> I got five in the closet and ain't none of them made messed up. Amen. Amen. Right. amen. We'll wear that one. Amen. You know, praise amen. God. Amen. A willingness. Amen. Notice her work from verse 13 to verse 35. You'll find that she is a working woman. She is not idle all the time. Right. Just because you stay at home don't mean you sit up in the recliner and eat ice cream all day, amen. I'm telling you, friend, oh, we're living in that day, ain't we, amen? There's two sides to it. Right. Oh, friend, where's our, where's our mama's gone? I'm convinced, amen, we need to get back to the ministry of motherhood. Amen. What about this, amen, her wisdom? Verse 26, she opened her mouth with wisdom. Just because you have something to say don't mean it's always wise. Right. Amen. 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 Listen, you know, sometimes it's not the time to speak. I'm just, I'm just telling you from experience, amen, my own self. But sometimes not. Hey, when husband getting on one of those kids and telling them, you're not going to do this. It's not time for you to open up your mouth and side with a child over the husband and say, well, why, why are you doing that? The way to do it, amen, is wait the husband no longer with the child and then behind closed doors say, well, what was that all about? Right. Amen. Because every time you side with that child, what you're doing is tearing down his authority yep. in that home. Amen. Come on now. And we'll close with this. What about her praise? Now, mamas, this is where it's at, amen. Why do we do all that? Look what we see here in verse 23. Her husband is known in the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. You know what, Brother Holt, I see that as? She is praised by the citizens of that community. Yes. They look around and say, you know what? That man's got to have a good wife. Amen. 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 That man's got, ain't no way he could dress himself like that. Ain't no way. I'm telling you from experience, amen. My wife still has to tell me that tie does not go with those pants. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You do not need to wear that shirt. Amen. And then the other day I heard her say that and I seen Kim look out the bedroom and say, no, daddy. And you know, I'm just telling you tonight. Amen. But, but I'm telling you, her praise is, you know what? It don't make you feel real good. Amen. When your husband's sitting somewhere and he just looks like a king. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, tonight, come on now. Uh, just looks like a king. Amen. Because why? Because of your hard work. What greater ministry on earth than that? But not only the citizens of the community. You know what? Look in verse number 28. Her children arise up and call her blessed. You know what? Every now and then, Amen. those old children are going to say, Mama, listen, I'm telling you, friend, my mama wasn't even saved, but she sacrificed. Yes, sir. I love that woman today, amen, I'm telling you. She sacrificed for me. Hey, boy, every now and then I like to just let her know, Mom, I love you. I don't always agree with what she does, amen. Look, you can't be right with God and willfully wrong with your mother, amen. Come on now, you know that's wicked out of hell. That's devilish, amen. But you know, I see that, amen, and every now and then you'll see her children go over and just give her a big old hug and say, Mom. Thank God, amen, amen, that I've got a mama like you, amen. I've got somebody that I can come to 
Well, I thank you for your hard work. You've wiped my nose. You've changed my diapers. Amen. You've done things that no other human on earth would do for me. And I just want you to know that I love you and I thank God for your sacrifice and your willingness to stay at home with me and to love me and to teach me. Amen. I'm telling you, friend, that's the truth tonight, this morning. Amen. But can I tell you, in the end, you know what happens? Look what he said in the latter part of 28. And her husband also. If you any kind of husband, <laughs> and her husband also, and he praiseth her. Listen, husband, it do you good sometimes if you got a if you got a, a wife that honors God. It do you good sometimes to just say, "Listen, now I make it a point. You can ask her. I make it a point every day of my life. I make it a point to compliment my wife." Say, people say, "Well, that's just a little much. It ain't too much for me." Amen. I'm telling you, what she does for me and my children in their home, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, it ain't enough. Amen. Right. I'm telling you, from every day, brother Perry. We ought to find a way to praise her. Come home, amen. And instead of grabbing about the beans done got cold, you shouldn't have been 30 minutes late getting home. Come on now. Instead of grabbing about the beans, we go, boy, this meatloaf sure is good. Amen. Amen. Sometimes it wouldn't hurt you to get up and stick that plate in the microwave yourself. You was 30 minutes late. Amen. Come on now. But you know what? Praise her. Thank God, Amen. Man, you could have come home, amen, every day of your life, amen, to Salisbury steak, amen, out of the microwave. Amen. At least you made an attempt. And look at your children. Every one of them walking around with a smile on their face. I see some of these children walking around here, and I know they got a good mama. I'm telling you, I know they got a good mama. They always smiling. Oh, I'm telling you what, they're happy, amen. They know, amen, that God's been good to them. Amen. The ministry of motherhood. It's a forgotten doctrine of our day. Mama don't want to be in her place. Amen. She's so concerned and so consumed about doing her own thing. Listen. Can I tell you, Mama? Once you started having children, that became your greatest ministry on earth. You hear what I'm telling you? Once they started coming, amen, it became the will of God, amen, for you as a mama, amen, to keep that house and train those children. And that don't mean, amen, you got to be a mama to keep house. Don't understand, misunderstand. But I'm telling you, friend, the will of God, the perfect will of God for you, amen, is to do what Titus chapter 2 says. And I want to tell you what, God will bless your home. You know what? When, you, when both parties do what they're supposed to, Brother Hope, we can have our disagreements. You say, you and your wife have disagreements? Sure. <laughs> oh, preacher, you can't believe. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, we do. You don't look at me that way. You do too, Amen. You just won't admit it. I will. Amen. I'm telling you, friend. We will admit it. We do have our, our different day, difficult days. But you know what? We learned the best way to get through it is do what this book says. God bless you. We'll have you stand this morning. Maybe.